going? My name is McKinley Radenauer. I'm originally from Burns, Oregon. Uh, my name is Sydney. I'm from Spokane, Washington. My name is Christian Pavo. Uh, I'm from Madison Heights, Michigan. And I'm Skylar from South Carolina. So my name is Morgan. Um, I'm from Helena, Montana. My name is Reed Copeland. I'm from Boise, Idaho. And right now I'm living in West Glacier, Montana, and we float the middle fork of the Flathead River. So my first impression of the area uh, would probably be the mountains. Uh, when I first came here, you know, I saw the river, it was beautiful, the backdrop was the mountains, and to me, it almost looked like a painting. I had never been to Glacier National Park before, so driving up to the company, I was like, wow, it's right there. It's pretty neat. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, the first thing I remember was getting uh, to the outdoor center, uh, uh, meeting my boss, Eric Rowe, and taking me to the place I was going to be living, uh, which we call it the palace. Uh, it was the new guide housing. Walking up uh, the balcony to where I was going to be living, looking back towards the park and seeing uh, Livingston Mountain Range back behind be a good sunset. So, yeah, uh, I couldn't believe I was going to be living there for the next couple months. Swiftwater was great. Swiftwater was, I yeah. learned, I've been a guide for two years again, and, and that was, I learned more there than I have, you know. It was just like a reiteration of things that I had like already known maybe, but really thorough and, you know, really good training. Got really comfortable with the whitewater before we actually started. This is my third time training, and I thought it was really cool to just get out there and like learn from different people every time. Sometimes you think you got it all down, and then really you don't. You can always learn from new people. I think the holes, I think learning about the holes, like the, there was the smiley face and oh, frowny yeah. face, I had never known that and that was pretty cool. Yeah. Becoming a river guide, you come with water rescue certified, CPR, first aid, um, any other skills you have, like your woofer, it all goes towards you. In fact, they'll actually put money towards you having those skills. Um, you can increase your pay that way. But some other things I learned, definitely how to back up trailers. Trailers with, uh, you know, uh, five stacks of boats. Um, that was a handy skill, knots, learning how to tie different knots, which I use every day now. Um, I feel comfortable if I'm going hiking out here like I do on my days off, that if something happens, that I can handle any situation. Um, on a day off, I really like getting out of the park and doing a hike. Um, it's also really fun to get on the river. The company allows us to take gear out, so you know, it's really fun to take like an inflatable kayak or you know, go out with all your friends on a fun float. So I go fishing if I have enough time, a lot, um, and so I like to row and take people fishing, and I like to go fishing myself, um, and just driving around too, it's fun to just go for fun drives, because there's lots of places to drive. The other day we went into the park, we did a little bit of hiking, that was a lot of fun. Um, I need to do a lot more of that. I, li I like the park a lot, it's super beautiful out here. Um, yeah, just there's like there's so, so much to do. So much, it's, yeah, so many acres ahead, to deal you gotta with. You got to plan ahead. If you want to do something like really cool, you can. There's people that go on crazy hikes and bike rides and rock climbing. Yeah, being able to live and work in uh, this great area. I mean, the Middle Fork of the Flyhead Glacier National Park. It's pretty awesome to uh, be my neighbor. Uh, perks of the job or just gonna be I get pretty much get paid to camp and raft so a, a lot of people pay to do that so I get paid to do it so that's kind of how I look at it. Well I am a nursing student in college right now and I found that like other than learning how to guide a boat there's a lot of other life skills that I've learned you know how, I, how to talk to people and um, the experience you know. It's kind of cool to see uh, people from different, really different parts of the country, you know, the Midwest, back east, that don't have these type of uh, places, and uh, they get kind of nervous about coming out here and like being out in the wilderness and stuff. And, um, it's really cool to take them out and uh, watch them get a little more comfortable and kind of teach them about this this area and what public lands and back country is like, and uh, the, you know they can take that on, and, you know, have more experiences later on as well with the experience we give them. So. And I just feel like I've grown as a person too, like gained more confidence in myself because I'm out there on the river by myself. And so I've just learned to like trust myself more and trust my abilities and um, have gotten a lot better at being a leader and stuff too. And so it's just nice to gain confidence. I think that's the biggest takeaway. And to me, that might be just the best part of the job is the people you meet and the friends I've made, long-term friends that I know I can count on for the rest of my life. Yeah, we're all kind of interested in sending it out here. It's a good time. We all try to find the 
biggest, best stuff to run. And um, it's really nice to have friends who are equally as trained as I am so they can save me when I mess up. Everybody in our training class was awesome. We had the best training class, I think, probably ever. You know, they're best friends on the river, best friends off the river. Yeah, I don't know. Unity. It's really nice. <laughs>